Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 20 career mode with Bayer Leverkusen and today we're at episode 34 of the career mode and today we're at the final episode of season 2 as well so if you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget leave a like down below on the video and if you are new you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button down below as well. So then guys if you watched last episode you will know there's two games left in this season to play and the two finals and we've got the first one here, Bayern in the cup. And in our second final, our last game of the season is going to be against Liverpool in the Champions League final. And obviously, we're hoping to get a win in both if we can. And like I say, it's going to be two tough games. It reminds me of last season because we had these two games last in the last episode of last season as well. And we placed, uh, was it Werder Bremen, I think, or Wolfsburg, one of the two in the final of the cup last season. We ended up winning the cup but then losing the Champions League final to Barcelona. Whereas this year, we ended up knocking Barcelona out in the semi-finals to get through to the finals against Liverpool. So let's see how we do in today's episode. So I thought I'd give you guys a quick update here on the objectives overview. And you'll have to see how we're doing so far. So these are the main ones here. Win the Bundesliga title. We didn't manage to do that. We was off by quite a bit. Only finishing in fourth. But if we go down here to domestic success, like I say, win the title we haven't done. Now win the cup, that is there. We've got into the final now, so hopefully we can win this. And that will up our manager rating quite a bit. Continental success, all they wanted us to do was reach the final. So at least we've been, been able to do that. Obviously win the, the Champions League is going to be important as it is. Um, but yeah, let's get into this first game of the episode against Bayern. Anyway, got our strongest lineup here that I do believe we have in the team. We're against Bayern once again in this career mode for I think the fifth time this season. So we played him so many times. But uh, yeah, let's get into the game. Here we are then guys, into this game against Bayern. A big game today. If we can win this, this would be amazing. Or like I said, like we just seen, sorry, from the objective screen. It is one of our objectives to win this this season. But going up against Bayern, one of the toughest teams in football. And a team that has just won the Bundesliga is going to be a big ask of us. But let's see if we can get the job done today. There we go. Havertz is through. Through the defence already. Getting closed down here. Work it out a little bit. Want to try and possibly get a cross in. And we can. Decent cross in. And just couldn't get it down to anyone there. But decent start there. Four minutes in. Bamiyang with the shot. And Manuel Neuer getting a hand to that one. And we've got ourselves to court here. Six minutes in. Let's see what we can do with this one here. Who's this taking it now? Alberto. Cross comes in. And aimed towards Leon Bailey there. Who's not the tallest on the team. Abamian, can someone just... Okay, I was hoping I might be able to get that ball down there. And the refs call for something here. An injury. Okay, is that to John Stones? I think it is by the looks of it. Like I said, there's so many headers going on inside the box there. I wondered what was going on. Let's see a replay of this. And Kai Havertz has, must have collided with him there. And he's caused an injury. Who's going to come on now for him? I'm not too familiar with that face. Um, should come on now. John Stones injury, yes. And a drop ball. But I don't know who's come on for him, but we'll find out. So it's Bartra that's come on for John Stones that's gone off injured. That's better for us in this game, I've got to say. It gives us a little bit of a confidence boost. But whether it can change anything, I'm not too sure. Oh, no, buying a through. Easy goal there. Goretzka scoring now. 17 minutes in. Assist for Lewandowski. And Bayern take the lead here. Awful defending by me, I've got to say. And to take the lead here. 17 minutes in. I can't believe this one. Look at this for a replay here. Lewandowski playing the free ball and just, I don't know what I was doing there. Kamara should have been tracking him a little bit more tight, tighter marking at least anyway. And they take the lead in this game 1-0. Great through ball down here to Paulinho. Cross comes in. Come on. Get a header on it, Abamyang. Okay, maybe not there. Another chance gone wasted in this game. 30 minutes gone. Bayern still lead. Oh no, Bayern are through again. No goalkeeper gets to that one. Oh, thank God. I think that was Bender there clearing that one away. And it was. Here we go. They've got the corner here. What are they going to do? Play it short. They are going to Abri. Okay, he's got the cross in. Okay. Wow. Wow. Fabian there. Really strong header there. I thought that one was going in the back of the net. Let's just see a quick replay of this. Can Abri quick cross. And yeah, the header there. Free to get the header, but just wasn't on target. Here we go. Counter attack just before half time here. Abamyang, get onto that one. Play the through ball back. Palacios. Why didn't he auto change to Palacios there? Why? I played the ball off from Aubameyang in towards Palacios. Yeah, he didn't want to change me to Palacios, even though I'm pressing L1 and what have you. But either way, we're going to half time here. Bayern 1-0 up still in this game. Let's have a look at the match facts so far. We haven't played too well ourselves. We've had three shots, though. Two on target compared to Bayern's two shots, one on target. They have a majority of possession, of course. But like I say, still another 45 to go. Let's see how we do. Oh, no. Mistake at the back. Jonathan Tarding clear of it. And he's trying to get the ball back. Thank God he did. And like I say, big mistake there. Try to get... Wow, I just want the ball to the right-hand side of the field. I just can't get it there. Robertson now. Cross comes in. And the goalkeeper is able to punch that one away. And wow. Okay, I just want this ball cleared. And twice, Jonathan Torres tried. 
and unable to. Where's Leon Bailey? Get the run going. Leon Bailey, come on. Why is it taking so long to get started on the run? Oh, wow. Okay. Bayern Munich taking it now to 2-0 in this game. Fabian. And, wow, th this game this game is over. I've got to say, Bayern Munich playing a lot better in this game than they did last episode. And what a goal this was. A little chip over the goalkeeper. I'm trying to trap back there. Stop Lewandowski from getting any sort of supply. And then Fabian, just on outside of the box here, just goes for a cheeky chip by the looks of it. And he goes straight over the goalkeeper. And look at this for a goal. Look look at that. What you know what I mean? I, there's nothing I could have done about that. I should have possibly took a defender towards him, but then he would have played the free ball to Lewandowski. So um yeah, tune up by Munich. There we go. Leon Bailey plays that down to Rashica. Come on, work this in the box. Oh wow, just couldn't work it into the box. This game is not going great for us, I've got to say. We're getting really frustrated. And like, like I say, this reminds me of the game um, you know, where Bayern beat us 1-0. And obviously, I know it's 2-0 now, what have you. But I just felt like we had so many chances in the first half to put it away, and we just didn't. And obviously, Bayern, having the players they do, managed to capitalise on their chances. Oh, Bayern playing it through here. Kai Havertz, get this one in the back of the net, please. What? How? How is that not in the back of the net, Kai Havertz? Please explain. What is going on in this game? Bayern are just going to win this one, I've got to say. Two, two goals now. We've got little time left to try and secure at least, you know, a couple of goals to try and get it into extra time. And there we have it, guys. Bayern win this game 2-0 and they get themselves the trophy to take home. But uh, like I said, it was, they, they were the better team today. That's all I can say. They put the goals away and we never did. We had a few chances early on in the first half, a few chances in the second half, but just couldn't capitalise on it. And here's the match facts. We had four shots, two on target, unable to put any away. Bayern having three shots, two on target, and they both went in for them and buy and go home with the trophy but here we go then guys the game we've all been waiting for the champions league final against liverpool and i can't wait to play it like i said the cup game i wasn't too excited about it just because we won it last season obviously you shouldn't not be excited about something this youth player keeps wanting out and it's doing my head in all these emails um but yeah so like i say this the cup game wasn't too excited about because we won it last season so on and so forth whereas the champions league final last season yeah, obviously, Barcelona beat us in the final. That really frustrated me, the fact that they got the win. So, for this season, we can win the Champions League, and that is what I'm concentrating on in this episode today. We'll go up against Liverpool. It's not going to be an easy one. Like I said, that loss against Bayern sort of knocked our confidence a little bit. I'm a little bit wary now going up against Liverpool, considering we got beat 2-0 quite easily by Bayern. But uh, Liverpool, a different team. Let's get into it. Oh, these emails here. Uh, Austria now want me to manage them. We're going to go with the same team. In fact, I did want to go with this team. I'm going to put Palacios over there, take Alberto off, and I'm going to bring Martinez on. Now, it sounds like an odd one. You know, Alberto, 86 rated, so on and so forth. But I just feel like Martinez might do a better job in this game against Liverpool, probably because he's a bit more defence-minded, isn't he? So he'll probably help between the two, track him back a little bit. But there's the team for the final game of this season. Aubameyang up for an 86 rated, gone down by two ratings. A little bit annoying, that one. But it was always bound to happen. Kai Havertz now a 90. Bailey 86. Palacios in midfield 84 rated now. He's gone up quite a lot in his career mode. Save for Jonathan Tarr 84 rated as well. But let's get into this game against Liverpool. So we're into the press conference here before the game against Liverpool. And they're saying that on paper our teams look similar in terms of ability. And I'd say that in terms of, you know, like say the ratings and what have you. And how will we approach it? I'm going to say we're going to focus. No, we must not un underestimate Liverpool. That's a pretty easy one to say, isn't it? And uh, you're about to face Liverpool in the final, who is a strong opponent, obviously. Can you tell us how to manage the accumulated fatigue? And I was going to say, we worked hard to get here, which we did. We faced many a great teams, and especially Barcelona in that semi-final. To get here into this final, I'm definitely not going to go out of it without putting up a fight. And the final question here, there's been some top performances recently. Can your team keep this up? I'm going to say we must avoid distractions uh, in order to get the win. Here we are then into the Champions League final against Liverpool, which is being played at Old Trafford. And we've got our strongest lineup here. Hopefully a much better game than we just had against Bayern Munich. And I'm really hoping for a win today in this one. It would give us a bit of payback for last uh, for last year when we lost in the final against Barcelona, considering we knocked them out in this year's semi-final over this year. We can sort of prove that we've come a long way since then and we can get the win. There we go, Palacios charging through. Played a pass across. Oh, go on, Leon Bailey. Look at that. Three minutes in. The pass across. I'm not even afraid to score that goal or, you know, whatever. Um, I'm just happy we've got the one nil lead here. Four minutes in. Under four minutes and we've got the first goal. A throw in. And then we play a bit of beautiful football here. A few passes around Liverpool defence and a pass across there. 
And Liv uh, I was about to say Liverpool, Leon Bailey grabs the first goal there. Straight past Allison, so close there. And we grab the first goal of the game. One thing I did, guys, was check Liverpool's team. And now it's a bit thingy now, checking now we're obviously seven minutes in. But I thought we might as well just have a look because it's one thing we never did. But here's Liverpool's lineup for anyone that's interested. A similar team. They got Alan though from Napoli in midfield. That's pretty interesting. Veran in defence alongside Van Dijk. Now that is some partnership, let me tell you, in defence there. But Alan, interesting signing in the middle of the park, just because I think he's 29. He might be 30 now, now with a second season in. Because obviously I did do a Napoli career mode. And he was a really good player, don't get me wrong. Um, his age doesn't really stop his ability uh, in this year's career mode. So he's a really good player. And there we go, the ball's come through. Goalkeeper got to that one. Thank God. Great ball down here. Paulinho on this right-hand side, catching up to me. We have to get a little cross in here. Can we get a header on a Bamiang? Okay, decent. Can we get the ball back? Rashica. Wow, Palacios should have ran to that a little bit sooner there. We could have possibly got back on the attack. Oh, Liverpool are here. Firmino, Salah. Oh, thank God. Goalkeeper getting to that one. No, I made a mistake. I made a... Oh, thank God we sorted that out. Martinez just control that a little bit and kick that over there. Oh, here we go. What a decent little ball that was. Here we go, Paulinho. Get a cross in now. See Bailey. Okay, he wants it to Aubameyang with the header. Wow. Okay, Aubameyang has just scored that. 21 minutes in and we are 2-0 up. Wow, I did not... <laughs> I did not expect that from Aubameyang that far out. Really did not. And that cross from Paulinho, what a cross it looks like now. Here he is on our right-hand side. Now, I've seen Leon Bailey there. You can see him at uh, back post. And I wanted it towards him, but instead to Aubameyang. And now we've beaten Alisson twice within the first 25 minutes. Oh, Liverpool going to get a cross in here. Arnold with the cross. And wow, OK, goalkeepers had to make a save for that header. A little bit surprised at that one. I thought Jonathan Tarr might have been able to header it away, but he couldn't. Oh, there we go. Look at that for a ball from Bender. There we go, Rashka. Down to Leon Bailey, he's going to cut it inside, play the pass. Aubameyang, round the defender, go on, get the shot off. Oh, okay, probably obviously a bit too close for an angle there to even get a goal. But the fact that he was able to hold off Van Dijk there, which I'm very surprised, and even get a shot away. Great through ball down here to Kai Havertz on the attack once more. Play the pass across, Aubameyang, wow. Okay, oh, it's gone in, thank God that has gone in. <laughs> Hit the post off the back of Allison, and now 3-0 up before half time in this game. Can you believe it that we are 3-0 up against Liverpool in this final of the Champions League? I, I, I honestly can't wrap my head around it, considering last game against Bayern, who haven't even got you know this far in the Champions League. We knocked them out, beat us in the cup final, and now you know just facing Liverpool and we're 3-0 up here. I thought Aubameyang really missed. Uh, lucky there to go off the post and off the back of Allison into the back of the net now. And Allison own goal. Three goals before half-time. I can't believe it. So, here we are then, guys. Into half-time. Here's the match facts so far. We had four shots, three on target. All three of them going in the back of the net. Liverpool having three shots, three on target. Unable to find a back of the net at the moment. Majority of possession towards Liverpool as well. But like I said, to be 3-0 up so far. And it really feels like I am the AI at this point. You know, having three shots on target and all of them go in. I'm so surprised. Like, honestly, I really am. But, uh, yeah, let's get into the second half against Liverpool and see if we can score any more. Rashka going to go for a long finesse shot. Blocked by the defender there. Bamiang's picked it up here. And, wow, OK, Varane just taking it straight off him, saying he is not having that ball here. But how many minutes in now? 56 minutes gone. Salah, great ball to him there. On his right side. No one's in the box, though. Mane trying to put the low cross in. Jonathan Tarr, let's get that clear. And here we go on the attack once again. Martinez down to Rashka. Leon Bailey, make the run. There we go. Calls for offside. Tempted it might be. Okay. Oh, no, he's lost the ball. Okay, he's kept it. Go for the finesse shot. Go on. Okay, another finesse shot maybe. And that was just a waste there. It really is. 3-0 up now. We can more or less try anything at this point here. Demir Bay for Martinez. Why not? Martinez had a really good game. For that second goal as well, what a clearance that was upfield. And then to capitalise on and get a goal was something else. But like I said, I just... Can't get my head around how we're 3-0 up in this game. Oh, there's not many teams this season we've scored three goals against. And to go against Liverpool right now in the final and score three goals before half-time as well is just, you know, mental. Can we score another? Rashka, cross comes in. Go on, Leon Bailey. Wow, that was close. And one thing throughout this career mode I've noticed, Leon Bailey gets a lot of headers considering he's only, what, 5'7", 5'8", or 9? He's around about that. He's definitely under 6 foot. And considering against Van Dijk and Varane there, I don't know who was actually marking him. Um, he actually gets a lot of headers this season. And how many minutes now? Less than 15 minutes to go. And this game got put to bed in the first half, I've got to say. Chamberlain's come on now. 
Also, Thiago Silva came on um, for Nabi Keita in midfield. Kamara there getting bullied off the ball. Call for a ref. Uh, call for a ref. Call for a foul there, ref. But I don't think it was. Played on anyway. Here we go. Are they going to score here? Are they going to score? And they're not. Our goalkeeper keeps us in it once more this game. Another through ball here. Bamiang to Kai Havertz. Slot that one away, please. And wow. Okay. Just let me down, Kai Havertz. Why don't you? Just just let me down there. Wow. How can you not put that away? I should have just gone for power, really. But I went for placement. I went for the finesse shot. And that clearly wasn't uh, Kai Havertz's strong point there. So here we go. Only two minutes added on here. And then we will be Champions League final winners and can you believe it just got to play these last two remaining minutes now come on ref we're up to two minutes blow the whistle anytime you want and there we go we have won the champions league finally in our second season of this crimo the first season I ended up getting beat in the final to barcelona and i seen them lift the trophy but this time it's our chance and we've taken it and we have won it and leon bailey there celebrating so much and i remember that game um, was it a few episodes ago when we faced, was it, yeah, it was Juventus, wasn't it, in a round of 16? And Leon Bailey scored two in that game, Ronaldo scored two in that game, and Leon Bailey, like I say, with them goals, helped us get through into the quarterfinals. And now here we are, we faced, ended up facing, was it Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals? It wasn't the best of games that we got through. And then we beat Barcelona in the semi-finals, as you've seen in the last episode. And now in this episode of this season, a final one. We ended up beating Liverpool and lifting the trophy here. And we're just going to let this play out. Now, Jonathan Tarr, Kai Havertz, a number of great players. Bender as well, surprisingly, 81 rated. But our captain has been a great player for us. And there we go, lifting the title at the title, at the trophy, sorry, my mistake. And what a journey it has been. And what a game that was against Liverpool. To get three goals before our time. What a game. And like I say, I thank you guys for all the support on these videos. Obviously, it's not the end of the channel or anything. But like I say, I just wanted to quickly say thank you for the support. I do appreciate it. My first career mode back after a little while. Um, and you guys have supported it a lot. And I, I really do appreciate all the comments I get. Because I do read every single one of them. Reply to them all um, every day and everything. So, yeah, I do appreciate everything. And, uh, yeah. Thanks to you guys, we've won this, and yeah, I hope you guys are happy. So, there we have it then, guys. We have won the Champions League in our second season here with Bayer Leverkusen, and what a win it was. I feel so happy that we've won that now, because winning the league title, I feel like, is pretty much impossible. Uh, let's have a look at Bayern's record here in the league. I know they've got 83 points, and how many losses did they have? So, they had five draws and three losses, so it is doable to win the league. But, you know, I just feel like it really is hard when you go up against the likes of Bayern and Dortmund. But we will try and do that and win the league at one point in this career mode. But like I say, we've won at least two of the three trophies on offer for us. So in the first season, we won the Cup. The second season, now won the Champions League. So all, all that means now is in the third season, we need to try and go ahead and win the Bundesliga. And we won all trophies on offer to us, which would be great if we could. One thing we'll have a look at now is, of, is obviously the objective. So you can see there we've completed at least two of them. Which was with, within three seasons, increased the club's worth by at least 30%. We've done that. Uh, Champions League reached the final. We did that, but we ended up going on and winning it. Uh, Bundesliga win the league title. We couldn't do that. We only finished in fourth. We had a really poor start to the start of the season. And like I said, that just really stopped us you know, getting anywhere near the top of the, uh, top of the league um, this season in general. Let's go down and have a look at my career. And see what this is saying overall now. So obviously one club, league title zero, domestic cups won one, domestic continent. Uh, uh, sorry, domestic continental doesn't even make sense. Continental cups won one. Our biggest win was five one, which I'm guessing was a pre-season friendly, which it was. Our biggest defeat still, which was in our first season, which was three 0 to Werder Bremen, and our record transfer fee sixty one million. And yeah, so not too bad this season in general. This is what it was. So the league objective, win the, win the league, we didn't do. Win the cup, we didn't do. Reach the final, we did do. And obviously we ended up being the winner. Unfortunately not to win the cup as well. That would have been nice. But like I say, my, my sort of head was in a different sort of space just because I knew we was in a Champions League final. And I really wanted us to win that one. And it would have been great if we could. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, don't forget, leave a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new, guys. And I'll see you guys next time.